Welcome to your Huron Valley Chamber today, a new show highlighting the good things happening at local businesses and organizations. This show will highlight both new members and longtime members of the Chamber of Commerce. Your host is Milford resident Gordon Muir. Gordon is a businessman, Chamber Executive Board member, and steadfast supporter of the Huron Valley community. And now, your host, Gordon. Welcome to your Heron Valley Chamber of Commerce today. We have a very special show today. You're going to be finding some very interesting subject, and I'd like to at this point introduce our host today, Jack Schubatowski. Jack, welcome. Thank you, Gordon. It's my pleasure to be here, and I'm certainly excited about today's show. Um, we've got a great group of panelists, and I'd like to introduce them at this time. I start with Jennifer Hill, who is the Events and Communications Manager at the Huron Valley Chamber of Commerce. We have Rick Kirshner, who's the President of Advanced Concrete in Highland, Michigan. Joelle Beether is the Executive Director of the Huron Valley Chamber of Commerce. And of course, Gordon Muir, who is the President of the Sierra Consulting Group here in Milford. So we're very fortunate in our community to have a very strong Chamber of Commerce and um, they put on a number of programs uh, and, and benefit the businesses in our community, but they're also a very good events-driven chamber as well. And so today, we're going to be highlighting four of those many events that they put on and uh, going into some detail, and we're gonna do it in chronological order. So I'd like to start off with Jennifer Hill, and she's going to talk to us about the Current Music Festival, yep. which is one of the newest programs. And so Jennifer, if you could tell us how it got started and what the program is all about. Uh, well, I'm a big music lover, Jack. Like I love it. And um, <laughs> I'm really fortunate that I have a boss that loves music as well. And we got to talking about what we love about music, which is live music and original music. And I feel like um, we both feel that it, it's kind of a dying thing. I mean, original music, where people do not want to go out and see original music, it, it's, kind of, um, it's kind of hard to do that when you're used to hearing the same songs over and over again, right? So, you know, um, we decided let's, let's try an original music festival, and we decided to create this kind of tag on to an existing event and expand the event. So it's a one-day music festival in June, and we hire 12 bands. They pay, play for 40 minutes, which is kind of unique as well. And you get to hear all types of genres. So give us some examples of some of the music that you have and then tell us how you picked the artist. Okay, that's, that's a great question. We have bands from Detroit, but this year we have bands from Grand Rapids. We have a band from Nashville that's coming all the way up. And again, they're all genres. We have punk rock, we have um, we have soul, we have blues, we have singer-songwriters, we have country. It's really going to be fun. And the way I do it is a lot of research. We ask a lot of people to help us uh, pass um, suggestions to us, and I listen to a lot of music, and I'm really lucky that I can do that in the office. And we have it at, um, like I said, it's, it's really crazy on how many people that we have to pick from and then we have to narrow it all down and we've got a, a really good lineup this year i'm really excited about it well i'm sure you enjoy listening to their tapes and, and, oh, yeah. and selecting the, the right yeah. band so so how do they um you the festival takes place in the uh, la fontaine family amphitheater right how do the bands like playing there oh uh, well you know you've been there right it's just mm -hmm. gorgeous and when it's a sunny day and the kayakers are back there they just love it so it's a great day, and especially we have, um, we have a craft beer tent that you can come up with draft, drafting table, draft horse, and River's Edge is one of our sponsors. And so they can come, people can come and come into the beer tent. And we also have food. We have uh, draft, and I'm going to write it down, look at it. Uh, we have draft horse, proving grounds, and we have Milford House that will supply food as well. But it's a free of charge event which is really great. There's just a small fee to get into the beer tent. That's great. So we've got local, local restaurants that right. are helping to support the program as well. Right. Yeah, wonderful. Very good. So the next, um, the next program we have is uh, that one that Gordon Muir has chaired for a number of years, and that's the Huron Valley Chamber of Commerce golf outing. So Gordon, if you could tell us about the golf outing. Well, the golf outing is different. 
uh, some years ago, I decided that we would have a fun day. And this golf outing is fun. It brings a lot of different things to the game of golf. Uh, but I'd like to first of all mention that the date of our outing this year is June the 27th, and it's at the Heartland Glen Golf Course. And uh, you will find that we have holes that the, the hole itself is like this size instead of a little hole. We have where they will throw a dice up and uh, you will just walk down to the green, whatever the number is, that's where your ball landed. But this type of golf outing is, a, uh, there's so many people that get involved with this outing. We have probably as many gals as we have guys. I mean, it's just one where you're not got a first, second, third place where there's all this competition. It's just going out there, having a lot of fun. You hear a lot of laughing, you hear a lot of things going on, but it's a great, great day. That's great. So tell us about the food at the golf outing. Well, at the food is great because we've got Tim Hortons. They come and do the breakfast for us. We have the, per, uh, the burger uh, joint downtown. Mm -hmm that their hamburgers are fabulous. They bring on hamburgers. I don't know if they have hot dogs or not, but basically they are got great, great hamburgers. And the dinner that night is a steak dinner. And the cost of this outing is only $100 a golfer or 400 for a foursome. And uh, we're gonna be over 200 again this year, I'm sure. So if you want to get in and get the early pricing, get a hold of the chamber office. That's great, Gordon. I'm a long time participant and it certainly is fun. I, I would vouch for that. Good, now this year, I will mention that we do have a charity. Every year we have a charity that's involved. And this year's charity is You Can Survive. That's the Leukemia Association that La Fontaine automotive group uh, have they sponsor that particular organization and they have raised millions of dollars uh, for that leukemia group so they will be there this year and I, they're going to put on a silent uh, not a silent it's going to be a live auction this year and they've got some fantastic stuff that's going to be auctioned off so i suggest that you come and enjoy and bid and just have a great day that's great. So that would explain the bear. The, that is the you the, can survive bear. And, and the hat. Uh, and uh, I'm sure that they're going to have a number of those there uh, for the golfers when they get there that day. That's great. So Gordon, I know it starts off with a competition right out of the gate. So tell us about that uh, oh, first, first thing that happens at the golf outing. Well, the first thing that happens is we got 200 golfers that are around the green. And each one of them have a ball numbered from one to, to 200. And uh, when the fellow gives the okay, everybody will, th there'll be one hole out in the center there and everybody will throw their golf ball. You got 200 <laughs> golf balls going towards that hole and people mm -hmm. screaming like mad, hoping their <laughs> golf ball goes in. Uh, but it's, it's a fun way to start the day off and that kind of sets the mood for the day. Yeah, yeah, that's and, wonderful. And I, we get probably around 30 volunteers. We have a great golf committee. All these people donate their time. The day of the outing, we have others that come and help. So uh, it, it's just wonderful how much help you get from uh, chamber members when you put on a function. Yeah, that's Not great. to say that this gal next to me here, uh, <laughs> they at the office do a fabulous job every year Absolutely. of promoting and helping out. And lastly, but not leastly, we kind of have a little competition. You'll be hearing about it by one of the other speakers here. <laughs> and uh, Rick, Gordon, I think I know what you're talking about. <laughs> Rick takes care of the beer deal and I take care of the golf deal and we kind of compete with each other who can do the best for the chamber. So I must say that the last two years, the golf outing has done the best. So. Uh, we're going to get some real competition from the beer group, I'm sure, this year. Yeah, we're going to have to hear a little bit, hear the other side of that story in just it's, a minute. It's a lot of fun. It's just great. That's great. So is there still time to sign up for the event? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
we're taking orders right now and we'll be taking them right up to uh, probably around the 15th or 20th of the month in June. But uh, just get your money in before the middle of June so that you can pick up a good discount. Fantastic. Yeah. Very good. Well, next we have Joel Beether, and uh, in addition to all of her responsibilities at the chamber, um, she's done a fabulous job at Milford Memories. Oh, it's it's an event that's really put Milford on the map for a lot oh, of people. Definitely. And uh, so, if you could tell us a little bit about um, about Milford Memories. All right. For those of you that don't know, I'm sure there's still some out there. But Milford Memories is a three-day art festival, August 9th, 10th, and 11th this year. It'll be our 28th year. And interestingly wow. enough, I don't know if everybody up here even knows this, but this will be my 16th Milford Memories, and Jen did the first one. So between the two of us, we have actually coordinated every Milford Memories. Between us two. But just between us great two. Great experience. So it's kind of, no, there's no a lot wonder of it's such a great it's, success. It, it, it's kind of cool. You it's know, great. To, to have her back and working on this. But it's an amazing event. It's a lot of work. Um, you know, you look at... All these events takes committees to put them on. You can't. It's not something our office of four can just put on all these events. We rely heavily on committees and have great chair mm -hmm. people like these guys to help us out. Milford Memories is no different than that. We have 23 on our committee, and the most of them, I think, were there when you were there. Yeah. A lot of them have just stayed because they enjoy doing it. They enjoy mm -hmm. putting in that time and effort to make this event happen each year. And then on top of that, we have over 500 volunteers. Wow. And a lot of them are students from the, the schools. A lot of them are, you know, community members that live there, and they want to be a part of the event. They want to see Milford succeed and, you know, have people come here and love the event and love what's going on. That's great having the whole community come together it, to put on an there's event. There's no way you could do it any other way, and we're just so fortunate, the area that we live in, that we have so many people that want to help. And, want to, and working at the Chamber is great because... You know, we see the benefits of Milford Memories during the actual event. You see all the people that you're bringing into the community. And I know it's, it's hard for people. You know, parking's bad, the traffic's bad, all of that. But it is a positive thing. We get calls all year long of people that will call back and they say, I was at Milford Memories and I saw this store. I was at Milford Memories and there was this restaurant. You know, and they want to come back. Realtors mm -hmm. tell us all the time, people come here and then they want to move here. So it is a very positive three-day experience that brings a lot of people to our town that may never come here. Yeah. So, but it's, it's fun. We have, you know, a beer tent, there's a um, cold butt euchre tournament, a 5 and 10K run, we do a blind canoe race. So there's really something for everybody. If you don't want to do the art, you can, you know, go to the kids' tent. You can listen to some great live music. You know, Jen and I love that part, so. Absolutely. Well, that's great. So if people get hungry while they're down there, what okay. are their options? Okay. So there's a lot of options. You've got all, a lot of the restaurants have tents outside, so you could go enjoy their food. Or if you want something different, you want more of that carnival-type food, we have a food court area all in Central Park that has a bunch of different... I mean, we, Jen does a great job with the food. She tries to pick something different, so there's no duplicate. So you have all different varieties of food down there. That's fantastic. You know, everything from... Elephant ears to pretzels to hot dogs, pizza, ice cream, you name it. Wonderful. So tell us a little bit about the artists. What types of products would there be to... Uh... We typically have over 300 art booths each year, and they're from all over the United States and Canada, and there's a little bit of everything. You know, it's not going to be your higher-end, you know, art that you might find at Ann Arbor. It's a little bit more middle-of-the-road to higher-end price point, so there's something for everybody. You're not going to be, you know, walking around that you can't afford any of it. There's all different price points. There's jewelry, paintings, um, cool signs for your yard, garden decor. I, I, to be honest with you, it's hard because I don't get to shop. So <laughs> 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 every year I say, okay, I'm, this will be the year I'm shopping, but I've yet to find the time to do it. Yeah, but. that's great. Well, I know when I'm down um, at the festival, people are walking out with their arms full of items. Oh, there's so artists that, that sell out. Buying. There's and a lot of artists that sell out each year. Yeah. which is great. And they all have smiles on their faces. Oh, yes, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, that's it's, it's wonderful. A, it is a lot of work, but it's a great weekend. It's, it's fun. That's wonderful. It's nice when you see people that tell you, you know, that's my favorite weekend of the year. I come to Milford every year for it. I plan my vacation around it. That makes it worthwhile. Great. And I know it's in August of each year, so what are the dates? August 9th, 10th, and 11th. Uh, we have a website, milfordmemories.com, that you can find all the information or a Facebook page. Wonderful. Yeah. Fantastic. Thanks, Joelle. Thanks. 
So then um, we've got a new event, um, relative, well, I guess it's not a new event anymore, Rick. It's, um, yeah, yeah, Currents has that. But um, Brewed in Michigan Beer Festival, um, it happens each September out at Bakers of Milford. Uh, Rick is one of the visionaries that uh, in founding members that got that program started. So if you could tell us a little bit about uh, Brewed in Michigan. Well, it's not that new, as you say. Um, started 11 years, this will be our uh, 11th year. And uh, where it came about was we were sitting around the chamber and you know we were doing wine events, uh, wine tastings and things like that. And it was kind of self-serving because I like beer and I'm like, hmm, <laughs> how, can we, how can we how can we make this work? So uh, I was pitching it to the chamber for a couple of years and hey, if you ever want to do a beer event as opposed to a wine event, you know, I, I'd be happy to put it together. And they said, eh, it took a while for it to settle and simmer. And then they said, yeah, if you think you can get like 200 people, it would be successful. So why don't you go and try? So that was in 2008. In the first year, we had about 400 people. So they're like, yeah, we might be onto something here. Mm -hmm. So from there, it's grown and grown and grown. We started inside Bakers of Milford, just in our banquet hall. And I, I remember the first or the second year, we had the line lining up out the door, around the corner, almost around the front by the Dairy Queen. It was you the know, second year. Second year. Yeah. Second and, year. And people were like, okay, we got to do something about this. <laughs> so we needed more space. So we added outdoor tents. We added to the patio. Then we did a big tent out on the um, uh, parking lot. And then we also added a VIP hour, both to give people more opportunity to get there earlier, to uh, sample more beer when it's less crowded. We limit the number of tickets there. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, actually to help manage the line <laughs> because we we host on general about 1200 people at the event that's a huge success mm -hmm. yeah yeah very nice mm -hmm. so um, the uh, the the beer that's represented tell us about the breweries that um, that are involved in it well it's brewed in Michigan so it has to be a Michigan brewer okay. and a Michigan craft brewer and when we started out um, Michigan beer didn't have as many options as we do now. So we start out with the big boys, Bells and Founders and Shorts and everybody. Uh, it was unique to most people. They haven't tried that. Um, so as as the years go by, we sort of progress and sort of change. We go to the, even the smaller brewers, the smaller local nano breweries. And because you can get Founders and Shorts and it's awesome beer, it's a great beer, you can get them in the grocery store very easily. Um, so we want to highlight some of the smaller, lesser known breweries in the area. Great. So how many breweries would be represented? Uh, generally, we have 30 breweries there. 30 different Michigan breweries. 30 breweries, and they usually bring about four beers each. So if you can do the math, 120 choices. And we also have hard cider, and uh, we'll bring wine, uh, Michigan uh, wine. Yeah, very good. Mm -hmm. The really interesting thing is when you started out, like you were asking people, and now the breweries are coming to him. And like, how do I get involved? How do I, you yeah. know, I want to be a part of that event. So yeah. it's really nice to see the that. The word's getting out. Yeah. We, we have a little street cred. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Fantastic. And again, is there, are there, is there anything to eat while you're there? Well, that's a <laughs> great question. <laughs> no, that's unique. Because we, all, we all like food. Yeah, <laughs> most, most beer events, and I've, I've attended a couple of them, um, but most beer events is just about the beer. And then you go to a, a um, food place to buy something to eat so you can continue to enjoy the beer. We wanted to be a little bit different. We also wanted to highlight our local restaurants and our local chamber members. Wonderful. So along with your ticket, you get a sample uh, ticket so you can go and sample usually 12 different restaurants, 10 to 12 restaurants, and you'll get six sample tickets with your admission to try something to nibble on while you're enjoying the great beer. Wonderful. Well, we've certainly learned some exciting things today, and these are great events. Um, there's no surprise the passion behind the individuals that are involved in this that make these events such a great success. Um, so I want to thank all of you for putting so much time into this. And if I could, if we could just walk, go down the line and um, put one last plug in for your event, why we should go, how we, how we get tickets, how do we get to go see the event. So Jennifer Hill, would you take us away? Sure. I mean, mine's pretty easy, seriously. I just want people to know that it's 12 bands in 12 hours. And just suspend what you normally do and come down and just... Just expose yourself to different types of music and enjoy the beer and enjoy the food. And by the way, it's free, right? Not the food and the beer, sorry. That's not <laughs> the free, price, sorry. The we price is right. That. But the music is, and it's really gonna be great. And you know, you might just find somebody you just love and you wanna go see um, in Royal Oak or downtown Detroit or, or Nashville. 
right? right. So this is a great event. And go to um, our website. Not our web. Yeah, Huron Valley Chamber website. It's on there. Or our Facebook page. And you can get all of this information. Very good. Uh, yeah. The date again? It's June 8th. June 8th. Right. At and the La Fontaine Family Amphitheater in downtown Milford in Central Park. Fantastic. I'm right, starting starts to at 11 a.m. I'm starting to see some of those posters up in the storefronts of the local businesses. That's so. right. We'll have postcards. It's going to be great, you guys. It's going to be fun. This is going to be our third year, and it's not going to rain. Mm. No rain. No, no rain. It will we've not got rain. A, we've got a guarantee here. So no. yeah. Good. Gordon, you're going to yeah, Gordon, you're going to do your dance, right? <laughs> right? Okay, I'm counting on you, dude. <laughs> right. So, sure. Rick, if you could uh, give us a little bit more information about Brood in Michigan, how we get tickets, and what does that include? Well. 12 bands in 12 hours, 120 beers in four hours. You can't, you can't, right. you can't, wait. You're wait. encouraging you, people to drink no, 120 beers. No, okay, 120 <laughs> choices, 120 choices. So with your admission ticket, $30 for your admission ticket, and you can get those on Eventbrite online. Eventbrite. So 30 for the regular, 40 for VIP, if you buy them the month prior to the event. If you wait till the month of, we need to know how much beer to order. Um, it's $10 more. Yeah, don't so, wait. So you want to buy now, we sell out. We sell out, we turn people away. We don't want to turn people away. We want to all have fun. So 120 beer choices. And a really cute mug. Really cute mug. Um, six food tickets, and you get a raffle ticket. So all of our brewers, we have them bring swag. And we have a charity out there. We have a charity raffle table where they can bring swag in, and then your name will get drawn if your ticket gets drawn, and you go up and you pick out a, a cool prize from the uh, charity table. Might be a growler fill, might be a mug club membership, might be a shirt. You know, it could be a throwing star. I mean, anything. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bunch of different stuff, but it's a lot of fun. Um, I think all the events are a lot of fun. The beer event's just a bit more fun than the oh, golf we event. Have two great hosts. Is that it? Right. Yeah. Golf. Well, well, don't don't yeah. forget the band at the end. Yeah, that's a Thank lot you. Of see, fun. see, that's that's a commonality of these events. That's I mean, beer, beer, music, good times, good people, good fun, yeah. support, supporting the community. Uh, we're bringing back the band this year is Moxie Bliss. They were mm -hmm. there crowd two years favorite. ago. Yeah. yeah, awesome job. Awesome yeah. job. Brought the crowd up. Had a lot of fun with them. They start and they uh, finish at midnight. Yeah. The event mm -hmm. officially stops at ten, but. And it's hard to keep people from partying. They're having a good time when we go till midnight. Yep. Fantastic. Yeah. You, Rick, you mentioned sponsors, uh, mm -hmm. or not um, sponsors, but that uh, um, a, a charity that's involved mm -hmm. in the program. Could you talk a little bit about the uh, yeah, every year we've, charity involved? Every year. Every year we've had a couple of charities. Um, and we haven't picked our final charity this year. We, okay. we have the Shack, who's always helped us out. They've helped us with the uh, uh, raffle ticket. We have My Abilities. They've helped us out. In the past, we've helped. Uh, you can survive. We've helped the farmers market, the YMCA, community sharing. Eleven years of events uh, supports a lot of charities. Yeah. Fantastic! Oh, that's great. So, Joelle, yes. if you could, um, a little bit more detail oh, on Milford okay. Memories. Gosh, I could be and here for what? hours on that. I know. <laughs> we have five minutes. <laughs> oh crap! Now you're narrowing it down. Um, one thing I think that's important to let people know about Milford Memories is we do have two shuttles. Uh, they run great. from behind Holden's and also at Milford High School. And both of those shuttles for a donation, it's free shuttle, but a donation to park, but the money goes to the school. So Lakeland High School has a group that runs the Holden's one, and then Milford High School has a group at their high school. So it's really nice, and then it takes away the congestion in town. You don't have to worry about finding a place to park. Mm -hmm. You're helping out the school, so it's a win-win. Absolutely. Definitely a good thing for people to take care of. Um, what else? Volunteers, volunteers, volunteers. If you're interested in volunteering, please see the office and sign up. We definitely could use you. Um, a lot of people don't know, too, we do a nonprofit group. Uh, we put several nonprofit booths out at Milford Memories. They apply, and we give them space. We get two of them get to do the water sales. Then we have lots of groups that do trash, and then all of their hours that they work for trash, they get paid for. So it's a great fundraiser. You get to be involved in the event. You're out there. You're helping us, and you're making money for your group. What so, a great way to give oh, back. Absolutely. Yeah. We have a yeah. ton of groups, the Boy Scouts, baseball teams, football teams. They've all done it at some point in time and made good money. Yeah, and that's how you're able to pull off a successful event like this. Absolutely. Yeah. And, it's, and it's just nice to be able to partner with different people and let them have that opportunity to make money too. Great. So great. we try to get as many people involved as we can. Fantastic. Yeah. So, Gordon, the golf outing's coming up here quick. Coming and, up. Uh, It'll be here on uh, Thursday, uh, June 27th. 
uh, earlier I didn't mention, but uh, we do have uh, the girls golf team from uh, Lakeland and uh, Milford High Schools, plus the boys teams. They will be out there on some of the long drive holes so that uh, yeah. you going to make sure that uh, you get a good 250 or 300 yard drive out of these young kids. They're fantastic. Also, on uh, each one of the 18 holes, we have the uh, Special Olympics group that are out there, and they will do your putting for you. And I want to tell you oh. something. Some of these kids are tremendous <laughs> putters. I mean, they do a great job. So I just think uh, it's a fun time. But I want to say that this whole group here that you're looking at today, you could see how much fun we have. This Chamber of Commerce, it's just not a golf outing that's fun. The whole Chamber of Commerce is fun. We enjoy, we have a great time. Just come join us in any one of these functions that you hear here today. Lastly, Jack is the president of the Huron Valley State Bank. He mentioned my, my position and Rick's position did not recognize himself. Jack is the president of the Huron Valley State Bank. Jack, I turn it back to you. Thanks for mentioning that, Gordon. And, and do you have any predictions this year on uh, on who's going to win the trophy between <laughs> the Brood in Michigan and the uh, Huron Valley Golf Hall? Well, uh, last two years we did win. Now, <laughs> I I always like to say that when I meet with my committee, the one thing that they all stress we're going to win. So <laughs> I got to say that hopefully we win again this year, but I'm sure that Rick has got some things he's going to say that going to beat us. Well, but, uh, it's, we it's, have it's good friendly competition. That's right. And um, Rick, do you agree with, uh, with Gordon's assessment here? Well, I agree you win if you go to either event. Oh, very good. But Aww. I think you should go to both events That's if right. you really want to be a winner. <laughs> to get to come to the fun event, or the really fun event in Michigan, no. yeah, right. um, what you do is you go online to Eventbrite to get your tickets. And they're only $30 if you buy them now. $30, 120 choices, 12 tickets, six food samples, a prize, yeah. <laughs> cool He's stuff. A lot of stuff. A lot Sold. of fun stuff. And it's Friday, <laughs> Friday, September 13th. Friday, and September remember, 13th. Remember, you've got a tremendous charity here at the golf outing. La Fontaine, the leukemia group there have done so much for that foundation. Come and be part of it. You'll feel great that you have one way or another contribute to that association. And you know, if people can't keep up on all of this, Jen and I do a little Facebook video every week on the Chamber's Facebook page, and you can always find out what's going on, because we do a lot of fun things outside of these events or how to get involved, and it's a quick way to see what's coming up. Right, and I also would like to thank the school district for this program that you're looking at here today. They make this possible, working with the Chamber of Commerce. And these camera people, and Fred back in the back, I want to tell you, are the greatest group to work with. We have so much fun working with this program about every three or four weeks. Absolutely, it's a wonderful partnership. And uh, I would certainly suggest the competition that we see here uh, the winners are really the community okay. um, That's right. because it, it allows us to give back and to do more right. and uh, we all have fun while doing it. Um, we're, we're so fortunate to be in a community that have people so dedicated to put these or put these events on and the volunteers that step up to make things happen. Um, what I would suggest is out on the, um, out on the, the Chamber's website, um, H, what's the Chamber Here website? Very good. So there is a YouTube on each one of these events uh, that give you the feel and the spirit of those events. And I would uh, encourage all of you to go uh, take a look at that. There's volunteer opportunities. There's sponsorship opportunities. The sponsors drive a lot of these events and allow us to be able to do, do great things, uh, to get 12 bands and, um, and to, to have all of those people come down to, to the um, summer festival. and. And so we appreciate all the sponsors. Uh, we're so fortunate to live in such a great community that supports each other and, and these events. So I guess that's it. We'll wrap it up for now. And uh, please come out and enjoy these events. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Thanks. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs>
Thanks for tuning in. We hope you enjoyed your Huron Valley Chamber today. This is a production of HVS TV at Huron Valley Schools. This was made possible in partnership with the Huron Valley Chamber of Commerce and WOCA, the Western Oakland County Cable Communications Authority. Tune in for new episodes soon and remember to support your local businesses.